And it's just cool because it's rare, you know, a lot of people that are, you know, like better terms, nerds, um, you're a nerd and I like that, but you're also a very <laughs> articulate and outgoing nerd. <laughs> and so those, Thanks. those things that come together, if you can, uh, ha you know, harness that magic, boy, there's nothing you can't do. Um, so I think that's really cool. You guys also use some other really cool, um, materials like Rhino bond, right? Yep. That's yep. something that I never, that's a roof system. I never got to experience and actually put on myself when I was in roofing myself. Um, but it is a really cool what are they what using magnets, right? To, yep. To weld Induction basically. Magnet. Yep. Yep. I was seeing if I have, I've got man, all these brochures and stuff. Let me see if I have one to show you. What was Arnold wanting to know about hydrogen? He was like, I do you know, how do you the hydrogen, all of the bubbles. He, uh, this is actually really funny. There's a, a, a it, this is, it was hilarious to me because he has his accent. He had a buddy named Gene who was, who connected him to the hydrogen industry. Mm -hmm. In California, when he was governor, they built an entire hydrogen highway of refueling stations all the way up and down the state. Wow. Because that's one of the biggest holdbacks with getting hydrogen vehicles is refueling. Very similar to electric cars. You know, or hydrogen vehicles are electric, very similar to battery electric cars. Um, I, I couldn't find the thing, but anyway, so Gene, he would call him Hydro Gene. And I just thought it was so hydrogen. 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 Uh, let me see here. Uh, I had it. I literally just had it like a second ago. I don't know what I did with it. You got tiles and stuff here. I love uh, Arnold. Here. I lived in California back in um, 2005 and six. Yep. And that's when uh, Arnold was the governor. And I remember getting a phone call from Arnold Schwarzenegger. Of course, it was a recording. But I thought it was pretty <laughs> kick ass. He's like, hello, this is your governor, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Please vote yes, proposition 492. I'm like, oh, this is fucking cool. <laughs> Arnold, I ain't voting for shit, but yeah, this is cool. Call me again. Dave John Connor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll be back. It's like, I'll do whatever you say, Arnold, as long as you say it. <laughs> That's awesome. That is an incredible uh, impression of him, by the way. I don't think I've ever heard a better one. Bo, so. I appreciate that. You know, it's gotten me places, man. When I was in the army, <laughs> it got me um, out of a lot of trouble. I had the uh, drill sergeants That's that, that really, really loved Arnold. And, of course, they made me respond and communicate as if I was Arnold. So, um, <laughs> yeah. That was, drill sergeant, yes, drill sergeant. <laughs> Doing push-ups. <laughs> um yeah it was a lot of fun so thank you i love arnold to death humor is a is a great way to stay out of trouble a lot of times <laughs> yeah oh yeah for <laughs> sure and it's also what got me in a lot of trouble um humor it's because it's yeah. the best way to you know usually get out of problems but then when you go too far uh which i oh, always yeah. did uh yeah a me too <laughs> a lot of trouble um here i got the the rhino bond system oh Just sweet like brochure if anybody's going to be seeing this later mm -hmm. um so yeah they the, basically the the rhino did you want me to explain it or yeah like please do man okay yeah so um with the rhino bond system it's a it's like kind of the best of both worlds where you have a mechanically attached and fully adhered system mm -hmm. um and it's also extremely cost efficient too um because you're you're reducing the amount of material that you need to to do a job as far as like adhesives and, and tapes and things like that um it is uh a lot of like we just did a rhino bond down in florida uh we like that a lot because of the wind ratings for it uh the the building that we did they had a uh what was it fully i believe it was fully adhered um and uh you know it tore up over time wind gets under it ripples pushes up on it mm -hmm. um and and you have breakaway so we, we think that rhino bond because it actually welds to the membrane so you have your typically with a tpo tpo membrane you have this material here that you would heat up with a heat gun and it melts and then reforms together just like you would like melt welding metal as one continuous membrane. So you're basically turning two sheets into one sheet mm -hmm. uh, by welding them together. So 
that's a great thing to have. Now, when you have the Rhino Bond system underneath of it, you're combining and welding together the membrane here to the mechanically attached fasteners that are screwed into the roofing deck below. So is so the, you have, yeah. Is the Rhino Bond? Do they have their own T, their own TPO products that you know you have to utilize with the plates, or can you use, let's say, a GAF TPO roll with the Rhino Rhino Bond um, plates and? So, G, uh, to my understanding, so like I said, I'm learning every day. Yeah, man. Um, but typically what it is, is you'll get the TPO rolls and you have special plates um, that are built to weld to that TPO. So, is usually I we use GAF for the Rhino Bond systems. Um, and I, I haven't seen us use other suppliers rhino bond systems gaf is one of you know it's one of the biggest uh, mm -hmm. manufacturers that we oh, use yeah. um but i don't think you can mix and match and i don't ever think it's really best to do that uh in any scenario just because when you're like even with like stuff like shingles you know they say like each batch is different sure oh, so yeah. yeah so when you're working with like you know different tpas and and and, and uh from different manufacturers and you know it's always best to be as, as unified as possible with what you're ordering, you know, if you're doing yeah. it. Um, but uh, to my understanding, it's just your your standard issue TPO uh, that you would be welding down seam to seam. But mm -hmm. instead of that, you have the Rhino Bond plate that welds to it underneath. So, you know, um, that's, that's my in-depth understanding of the system. And you use these magnets, uh, induction heating to, uh, you run a current through to heat the plate up. That's cool, science. Uh, to get the weld to happen.